What's up, hungry people? It's Sava, and today we're on Arthur Avenue in the Bronx to check out the Bronx's Little Italy. Truthfully, I think I might like this one better than the one downtown, but come along with us and let us know what you think. On this Arthur Avenue food tour, we're gonna have some of the best that this street has to offer. From fully loaded sandwiches to lighter than air tiramisu and all the meats and cheeses that you could dream of, we're gonna take a huge bite out of the Bronx's Little Italy. If you love food and are interested to see what New York has to offer, come along with us and don't forget to subscribe to see what's going on in the city. Your first stop on Arthur Avenue has to be at the indoor market. Crowded in this bright space are a ton of shops selling everything from meats to olives to touristy trinkets and really any sort of Italian specialty item you can think of. It's so fun and bright and interesting to walk around in there, you won't regret visiting. So we're here at Mike's Deli on Arthur Avenue and we decided to get a sandwich and some calamari. Though I don't support her, this is the Paula Deen and it has hot soap frittata, mozzarella, prosciutto, and it's on warm toasty focaccia. It looks really delicious. We've actually been here before and we got the Yankee Big Boy sandwich. It was incredible. We had to come back and try something else. They have a huge list of sandwiches and this looks incredible. Sun-dried tomatoes really give you a nice, like, umami flavor. Mm. So the prosciutto on the bottom is so good. I love that. It also comes with this little pesto pasta side salad. But the sandwich is what you want to concentrate on. So we also got the calamari. Last time we got the spicy calamari, so it comes tossed in a really spicy red sauce with um, like hot peppers. This time we just got regular. That's all right. Needs a little bit of salt. Not my favorite calamari, but I'm gonna eat it so. Honestly, skip the calamari, but definitely go to Mike's for the sandwiches. And after that, take a walk around the market and see what it has to offer. I love seeing all the salamis and prosciuttos and cheeses hanging from the ceiling. It's so cool to see all these Italian specialty items in front of you, especially stuff that you've never seen before. After our sandwich, we headed over to Vincent's Meat Market. Not only do they have a lot of Italian specialty meat items, but they have great prices and stuff that I just want to have at home. So we stopped there, kind of loaded up on some things to take home with us to grill later, and it was delicious. We got some of this Cecina, which is not Italian, it's actually Mexican. We also got one of those beef pin rolls, and it was delicious. When we actually grilled it up, it turned out amazing. Casenza's Fish Market is one of Joel's favorite places on Arthur Avenue. They have a walk-up clam and oyster bar where you just order fresh from a guy standing outside. There's also a fish market indoors, but you can order clams, oysters, shrimp outside, standing on the sidewalk and eat them right there. So these are blue point oysters with a little cocktail sauce. Really fresh and fried. <laughs> Mm. How is that? Good. Super fresh. For a little afternoon pick me up, we decided to stop and get some coffee and a dessert. If you like cannolis, I would suggest trying that at Madonia's Bakery, but I'm not a huge fan of cannolis, so here we go. 
So because we're in Little Italy, you know I had to get a dessert. I'm actually not a huge fan of cannolis, so instead I got some tiramisu. So this is from Prince Street, no, Prince Coffee House. And if you've never had tiramisu, it's like layers of cream with marscapone, coffee soaked lady fingers, and some chocolate. And I'm very excited. Super creamy and rich. I'm a whipped cream bean. So you know I love that. Mm, that's pretty good. I love the layers. Mm. Big bite. Whoa. Mm. What do you think? Pretty light. Mm hmm. Not too sweet. Not too sweet. It's good. Nice and fluffy too. So like I said earlier, Madonia Bakery is an amazing bakery on Arthur Avenue. My oldest childhood friend, whose last name actually happens to be Madonia, told me about it. They have amazing breads, pastries, even fresh filled to order cannolis. If you like cannolis, this is a place to go, but we're here for the olive bread. Next up, Calandra Cheese. All right, so we just left Calandra Cheese, which is one of Joel's favorite places on Arthur Avenue. And the reason why it's so special is because the it's guys- It's just because they take care of me. No. Yeah, they take care of him. The guys there are so nice and they let you taste all the cheeses. First of all, they have all the cheeses cut and then any cheese that you want to taste, you can just ask them to try it. They'll give you little tastes of things. Oh my God, if you love cheese, it is a cheese lover's heaven. They also just have amazing products. So we got half a pound of mortadella. This mortadella, oh my God, you can see it glimmering in the sunlight. This mortadella is delicious. So it has real pistachios in it and it's just cut so, so thinly. See how thin that is? The sunlight just comes through it. Incredible. So fatty. So if you've never had mortadella, it's basically like Italian bologna, but like next level bologna. But the pistachio in there is what makes it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These little green flecks. Those little green flecks in there are pistachios. And you can see how like shiny my fingers are. It's because the fat of the mortadella is melting onto them already. really bouncy texture. We also got three different cheeses, which the guy was kind enough to write the name on. So we got a cow's milk, calcio cavello, a sheep's milk primo sale, and a gouda parmesan mixture. We also stopped at Madonia's, which you saw earlier. Madonia's bakery is like a staple. They have the most incredible olive bread. If you can get it while it's hot, highly recommend if it's straight out the oven you can ask them if it's fresh out the oven it is on another level unfortunately today we didn't get there at the right time but it's still gonna be good joelle got it sliced and let me just show you right here this is what's special about this bread you see that all of those olives they're like dry cured black olives that are so salty and just give this the most incredible so I'm going to try to get a, a piece with a lot of olives because I love them. All right. When this is <laughs> hot and fresh and steamy, it's like next level. You see that? I'm just going to give this a bite on its own. Mmm. Okay. So the crust of this bread is very thin and crunchy and the center is really soft and doughy and chewy and the olives just the flavor of the olives just permeate the whole thing it's so good you got to pick up the extra olive oil out too are we gonna get into you know, all these cheeses i feel like we should get into a little bit 
The issue is we don't have a knife or anything, so I'm just gonna break off some chunks. <laughs> By the way, we in the middle of the street. That's how you do it in the Bronx. It hurt. So this is the half Gouda half farm. It has a really strong flavor. And you can like feel the crystals and the cheese. I think that's what I like about it. It's good for the crystals. Mm -hmm. But it looks like mm. That's pretty good. Next up, the Caucho Cavello. So this is actually a huge kind of like gourd shaped cheese that he just gave us a nice slice out of. It looks kind of like a melon almost. Lovely. And it's a lot softer. That's an Italian. This one, I really like. It's very mild tasting. It's kind of like, mm, what would you say? Like a stronger tasting mozzarella. We're gonna keep eating some of this, especially this olive bread with everything. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be great. So that concludes our little tour of Arthur Avenue. It was a quick one today. We know there are other great spots. Actually, if you have any, please recommend them to us. Uh, we would love to go. We have a whole lot of meat from Vincent's Meat Market to take home to cook up. And so much meat and cheese. I don't even know what to do with it and all this bread. We're probably gonna eat a little bit more and then head home. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Deuces.